What's going on my friends? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my gaming experience with Super Mario Odyssey. So if you wanna watch it, stick around. So let's get into it. So I did a review on this about six months ago and I love the portability. Uh, there was a lot of things I loved about it. There's some cons about it, but the pros outweighed it anyways. And for the most part, I, did, I was just waiting for more games to come out or a really great title to come out. And it did, finally. Mario. I'm a big fan of the Super Mario Bros. 64 uh, on the Nintendo 64 a long time ago. It was the best Super Mario Bros. game I've ever played. And as the generations went on and other games were released for the Super Mario Bros. franchise, nothing really compared to the, you know, the, the Super Mario 64. Until now. Super Mario Odyssey, I gotta tell you, if, if you're in that era of Super Mario 64, I would just stop this video right now. Buy yourself a Nintendo Switch if you don't have it. If you do have it, then without question, just buy the freaking game because you will absolutely love it. It is that game and more. I'm talking about just absolute fun. So I'm not gonna get too much into like the review of the actual game, just my experience because I absolutely just love Super Mario 64. I love the concept of the game. I love the overall, just open world of it. I feel like it was a, it was a game ahead of its time. And now with Super Mario Odyssey, I feel like it just came in the nick of time because I was just like, I'm done with Super Mario franchises because they just feel like the same or is it they just, they don't bring it back to that feel of, of Mario 64. So finally, a breath of fresh air because this game is absolutely fun. You can beat the entire game and still go back to other worlds uh, even afterwards. It reminds me of Batman Arkham City where after you finish the game, there was such, so much more afterwards and there was so much more gameplay you can do even after you beat the game. But it's fun. Cappy Hat is just an outrageous good time. There's parts in the game that's so nostalgic, like going back into like the Super Mario 1 era in certain phases of the game. Cappy is just a very interesting concept because you can take the hat, throw it on an enemy and become that enemy and then use their skills to get past a certain point in the game taking control of a dinosaur, so that way you can get to certain objectives. I love being the plant where the legs go up, and I also love the tanks too. You can use the cat to throw it at the enemy, and then you become the enemy, and then go forward with attacks that you need to do. The fact that it's on the Switch too, so you can play it as a console, and then take it with you wherever you go, because this game is a game that you can play anywhere, and have tons of fun, whether it's at the airport, airplane, on the bus, on the train, waiting for somebody in the driveway, waiting for somebody in the shopping center, at the shopping center. I mean, you're on the go with one of the greatest games ever created by Nintendo since, I feel, Super Mario 64. I love the game. Uh, as you can see with the screenshots, it's just a beautiful game to play. Go get yourself this. I absolutely love it. Again, this isn't, this isn't a review. This is just me telling you, if you have the Switch, buy this game. If you, if you look at this game and said, hey, you know, it looks like a pretty good game, I love the 64, but is it worth the investment of buying a Nintendo Switch and this game? Absolutely, if you love that game, if you had the funds for it, get it. I hope you enjoyed this, this video, this is me talking about my experience with it. I know it wasn't a lot, it was just, I just wanted to share it with you. But other than that, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, because I got many more videos coming up. And besides that, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.